All right, what's up guys? This is Ivan from BernieBiz.com. Uh, today in this tutorial, we're gonna build a standalone Arduino. Uh, we have one already set up here on the breadboard using the popular 7805 voltage regulator. Uh, we're gonna also test for the amperage that each one of these uh, setup will take. So we're gonna test the Uno on itself, uh, the board. Then we're going to test the standalone with the 7805 and see how much current that takes. And then we're going to replace the 7805 by this uh, more efficient little uh, step down switching power supply. Uh, now these guys have everything included on board. There's a little potentiometer here to adjust the voltage out. And these are very efficient, so I think up to 96%. Uh, compared to the 7805, uh, which is uh, around 55% at the most. So these guys are really easy to use. They have in pins and out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by testing the Uno power, see how much that takes. Then we'll see which one is better for your project. And we're also gonna use this dual battery, um, 18650 batteries. These are 3.7 volts lithium ions. Each one of these has 4,500 milliamp hour uh, capacity. So we're going to put them in series like this so the voltage will go up to 7.4. A little bit higher than that when they're fully charged they may go up to 8.2 up to 8.4. So that's perfect to use to power our um, our little project. And also these are protected batteries. Uh, it's kind of important because you don't want to discharge them too much or else uh, you might uh, damage them and they won't recharge again. So using Protected batteries is really important in my view to uh, power any of these projects So let's begin with the Uno. So we already uploaded. This is the uh, 80 mega chip and I put it on a socket as you can see here It's in a socket already and I do this because it's easy to remove and move from one to another and you'll see that when I start uh, this project um, We uploaded the uh, blink code Arduino code just to blink LED. It's a simple code because we wanted to uh, make this simple but basically all the pins are available and you can uh, check the pictures uh, uh, on the screen right now and you'll see the pin out of all the, uh, the pins of the uh, Mega. Now one thing you got to make sure that the notch is oriented the right way. There's always a notch on these chips and if you look on the board there is kind of like a notch design here that you have to put the chip in that way. So we're going to start with the Uno. We're just going to insert the chip, socket like that, just push it down, and there we go, easy to do. Now we're going to use this little power plug to connect the power. Now the way this works, one lead, uh, the uh, negative lead goes directly to the plug, the other one goes to one leg of the multimeter, and the out of the multimeter comes back and connect to the power plug. So let's plug it in and see how much current it takes. So there we go, we're getting a reading. So it seems 50, <clears throat> yeah, 56 milliamps for the UNO board. So that would be kind of like the maximum when the LED is lit. So 56.2 or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect this guy. Now all we're gonna do, we're gonna take the chip out. You see, very easy to do because the, the pins are not long so they fit perfectly in there and it's easy to remove. And we're going to put it on our board and the switch, the reset switch on the standalone is connected to this pin here. So the notch needs to go this way. So I'm just going to drop it in here. Make sure I'm on the right pin. There we go. Push it on. And I'm connected. Now we're going to take these leads, disconnect this. So this is my negative, positive. So I'm going to go negative and positive. And there we go, we got a blinking LED. Now our values, you see they drop down pretty much. 22, 22, 20, about 22. 22 seems to be a good reading on this. So we've saved quite a bit already. And this is using the 7805. So now we're going to disconnect him. And we're going to remove this circuit, so basically I'm going to disconnect this part, which is the circuit of the... Um, so let me get rid of that, and 
move these leads directly on the power rails like so and we're going to use the little power supply so I need to make sure the in and out are correct so the out is here so the way I'm going to do this I'm just going to touch them so I'm going to take the in plus right here connect that in minus and I'm just going to touch the leads to the output so out plus and minus so here we go and it's blinking and we're getting 12 11 12 11 12 yeah so you see we saved quite a bit again yeah so all right so to recap we saw that different version are using more or less current now if you're going to build a project uh, you program it here you make it work and then you just remove the chip from here and put it on a standalone uh, version using the 7805 or even to save you even more current, you use one of these uh, switching power supply, uh, especially if you're running your project off batteries. Um, I like to use these uh, 18650 batteries because they have a lot of capacity. Uh, and also two of them will give you the voltage that is needed to actually run your project. Uh, also in this tutorial, we used the um, AT Mega 328 that were already had the bootloader on them. So basically we just put it on the board, program them, remove, and put it on our project. So once again guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we post new ones. And I invite you to go to our website, brainybits.com uh, to check out the tutorial, you'll find the schematic, and we also sell all the parts that are needed to make your own standalone Arduino. So once again guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.